Hi everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to share with you all how you can do proper case inflow with Power Automate. For the agenda today, I'm going to explain what is proper case, followed by what is supported today, and then I'm going to show you my flow in Power Automate. What is proper case? It is capitalizing the first letter of a word in a string. So in other words, in this particular string, hello world today, we want to capitalize the first letter in each word. This came about earlier this year because I was working with a client where we were extracting external data and when the data needed to be inserted into CDS, the value needed to be in proper case. That was because the value in the external data source was all in capital letters. In terms of what is supported today in Canvas app, there is a function called proper that can be used, but in Power Automate, it is not available just yet. This is a Power Automate idea that you can vote for, which is in my blog post, so go ahead and check it out. However, in this WTF episode, I will share with you how you can do it in Power Automate. So without further ado, let's jump straight into my flow. For the purpose of this WTF episode, I am using a manually trigger a flow where I am using a text input that's going to be where I enter my words in uppercase. And then my next action is using a compose action where we're using a couple of functions. The first function that we're using is to lower. So this to lower function will make all of the characters in the value as lowercase. And then I'm going to split it so that it can be in the form of an array. And we're going to split it by the spaces in my um, text input. The next method that I'm using is an apply to each array. What we want to do is loop through each of those rows. And for each of the rows, there's going to be the word and in that word, we want to make the first letter as uppercase and then everything else is going to be lowercase. So to help you understand and learn my expression in this compose action, what I've done is created a scope that has multiple compose actions that will break down the expressions that, oh sorry, break down the functions that is being used by this single expression. I'm going to jump to my PowerPoint slide so that it can help me explain for your learning and your understanding. What you're seeing on the screen right now is that single expression in my apply to each action, and I'm going to break it down. Number one, we are using the function of first and to upper. So to upper means to make the value in capital letters. And the first function that we're doing in here is basically only grabbing the first character in the value and making it a capital letter. So for the first word, it's hello. And the first letter in that word is H and we're making it in capital letters. Number two is understanding, okay, what is the length of characters in this particular word? So this string and it is five. So H E L L O is five characters. Now, number three, is doing a subtraction function. So the reason why we're doing this is because we only want um, the remaining four characters from a particular position. So in other words, um, five minus one equals four. So the five is from the length and then the one is from my sub function. And that is all used in a substring. 
So a substring function is allowing you to return characters from a particular position. So by entering the integer value of one, we're saying that from position one of the value, grab the four characters. And then from that output, what we're now saying is that now combine it with my first function and the final four characters. So E-L-L-O and then concatenate it with my capital letter of H. So this is what this expression is essentially doing. It is making the first letter of the word in uppercase and then it's grabbing the remaining characters from position one and then it's going to combine it using the concat function so that it then so that it sorry so that it reads as hello basically in the output all right so i'm going to jump back into my flow and the next thing that i'm going to show you is my expression in the join array before i do that I want to explain another technique that I'm applying here, which is Peter's method. Peter's method was explained to be like mm. <laughs> Peter's method was explained to me by my friend John Liu, who is another Microsoft MVP in our community. If I wasn't using Peter's method, typically I would have created a variable action where it's going to be in the form of an array. And then the output that is generated from this compose action would have been appended to that array so that I can use it in my final action. Peter's method, however, explains how you can use a compose action outside of the apply to each so that you can actually retrieve the array that's formed from your apply to each action. I will provide the link to his blog post in my blog post, so check it out when you can. And so this final expression that you're seeing in here is now joining everything that has been generated in this apply to each and separating it by a space. So then it can read hello world today. And so that is what this join function is doing. Okay, so I'm going to delete my scope and then we're going to go ahead and run this flow. So I'm just going to test this out now. So in capital letters, I'm typing in hello world today and we'll see what it turns out to be. Okay, so my flow has successfully executed in here is where I'm splitting it into an array and making it all lowercase. So initially it was entered as capital letters. And then in my apply to each, that single expression that I explained to you earlier has successfully made the first letter in the word as capital. And then for the remaining characters in my value, it's now concatenated it all together. If we have a look at the other words, in my value of hello world today, we can see that same output. And then when we look at the join array result, we can now see that it's all a single piece of string. So it's no longer an array, it's all now a single string. And that is it for today's WTF episode. I hope you learned something from this episode today. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll catch you in the next WTF episode. Bye! Turn up. Let's, let's go.